Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back and I hope you've been well. This is something that me, Herbius, and Alex have all worked on for quite some time, but this is the first video into a series of tutorials we're doing for you guys about everything relating to Endgame. In today's video, we're going to be talking about line lengths and pretty much everything about them. Um, and yeah, let's just, let's just get right into the video, guys. Additionally, in the description will be a document containing most or all of the information given in this video. However, once all of the videos in the series are released, we will release one big document. We'll just go and edit the link, so then you'll have all of it in one. So first off, let's go over what a line length is. A line length is essentially like a system of measurements that we use, kind of like abbreviations, so like 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9 to refer to the distance between cannons within a setup. It just can be really annoying for some people to reference these things based on their definitive distance. So sometimes it's a lot easier to just be like, this is a 0.7 or this is a 0.9, etc. Next, I'd like to go over base rotations. So essentially we have two main terms that we use when referencing where we're gonna start building a setup from. We base it on the Doge Chan on the little island in the distance from the first base. If you are building in the corner closest to the Chan over there, this is, I think it's just called Chan Corner. And then I believe that if you're starting over here, this is Reverse Chan or Opposite Chan. This actually does affect the game in a pretty heavy way. For example, one of the things it does is it can cause inconsistencies within a setup. Not even kidding, literally the way it is rotated can cause problems. Let's show you an example. For instance, you could see the Dark Tree, I think it's called Dark Tree, Dark Seed Tree, uh, turn here. It is working very consistently, no problems. As you can now see, we have changed it to be from one of the not so great corners to use, and there are ores dying, it is not consistent anymore. So please just take that into consideration when building your next setup. All right, next, I'd like to actually go over showing you guys all of these line lengths and how long they actually are. So while there's four line lengths, which is 0 0.6, 7, 8, and 9, we're not going to be including 9 as it's pretty much just not used anymore and there's not a whole lot of things that work with it. So while there is information about it in the document, in the description, there's not going to be a whole lot about it in this video. This is the one exception. So over here, you can see a 0.6 line length, like line. A 0.6 line is 38 units between the cannons. So as you can see here, uh, we have these, which are all between the cannons. It is not, like, like they are perfectly aligned between, that is 38 of those bonfires, which you guys could also use these for measurement. Um, another good unit of measurement is also just platforms, as they are all 12 by 12s except for, like, the really tiny one, I think that's a 6 by 6 But yeah, no, these are 12 by 12s so you can also use these for measurement. This is a 0.6 line, this is a 38 unit long line. This one here in the middle, as you can see right here, this is a 0.7. A 0.7 is between 44 and 45 units. Either or, it really depends on the turn, I believe. Another thing that can also change, whether it's 44 or 45, is the items used in the setup line. So like, I don't know, like it could just vary very slightly, but it's, it's typically 44 to 45. Lastly, we have the 0.8, which is 49 units long, which is also a very common one you'll see. I believe it's 0.6 uh, that's used pretty often as well. Um, I feel like that's one I see quite a decent bit, but I think it's mostly 0.8. Next, I'd like to go over what we call mid-plats. So mid-plats aren't technically, but are technically in the middle as it's not based on the middle of the line, as you can see here, as all of these lines are in different lengths, but it's uh, because the ore velocity is always the same that comes out of Dragon Cannon, so you're, you're judging it on that. See how it kind of looks like it's in the middle of this arch? That's why it works so well. So if you take the, uh, the main original platform, which is standard platform height, 
Uh, also, another thing you could do is you could go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is four above. So one, two, three, four, and 20 units apart. The good news is that unless like it's really specific tricks, the mid plat is actually always the same, like I said, as it is based on the velocity and kind of like just where the ore is rather than the actual middle of the line, if that makes sense. So for instance, these are very close. These are very far. I just got pushed away again. But it is typically used for like the more flat items. So for instance, tropical, quantum, uh, clockwork, Vulcans, stuff like that. Lastly, I'd like to cover regular railguns. So something to note with regular railguns is we just advise... Uh, given that this is a dragon cannon video, we advise just free handing those and that it really doesn't matter as turns are kind of discouraged with railguns. You see, the problem with railguns is that they do have a very different arc and velocity and all that stuff from regular dragon cannons. They don't shoot as far, etc. So, given the like hitbox changes and stuff, as they do have separate ones, not all the turns even work. Some of them just straight up don't at all, or are just really inconsistent. We encourage that you just freehand building those and you just go with a line system with like teleporters at the end or something like that. Uh, and that there's really no like set length. You could just kind of figure things out depending on what items you're using. It's just, there's no like general rule of thumb that we're going by uh, with regular cannons, and we just wanted to include that in the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, there is going to be the document in the description, and uh, that'll have everything in the video uh, that we covered in like a text form, but once all of the videos are out, we're going to keep updating that link to have more of the information, if that makes sense. So just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Also join my personal Discord server if you'd like to get in contact with me. And again, big shout out to Herbius and Alex for all of their help. They've been just literally the best. They're sitting on call with me right now. And we're just, just figuring this out for you guys. So thank you. I'm really excited for the rest of this series. Please, any feedback is good feedback for me. If there's any criticisms or corrections, drop it in the comments and I will do my best to make it as noticeable as possible. Thank you guys, and peace out. Bye-bye.